furniture piece or something in the Portuguese art. So you have the inlay technique for Portuguese from furniture, uh, which the local artists learned from the Mughals. From the Mughals? Yes, because the Jesuit missionaries, yeah. when they went for religious dialogues with mm -hmm. King Akbar, they took the local artists with them, and while there was a religious dialogue happened, there was also a cultural dialogue happening. I see. That's how they learned the technique, I brought see. it back, and started introducing it in all our church. Really? And civil so these were carpenters? Yeah. Wow. So they, it's, it's there in all our churches, and they've learned Hindi. it from them, yeah. They've learned this technique from the Mughals. And then you have the supports that are half human, half coil bodies, which art historians were studying them, call them nagas, okay. which are the snakes, right. the Hindu divinities. Right. So it, this is a perfect example of Hindu Portuguese art where you have the Hindu divinity, yeah. you have Mughal technique, you yeah. have a, you could say a European form, mm -hmm. uh, the cabinet chair. Which museum? Arthur Viga in Lisbon. I see. Interesting. And then you have the chalice with bells. With bells? Chalice with bells. Maybe so it rings by itself. It rings by itself. It rings by itself. <laughs> And uh, chances of this period in Europe don't have bells on yeah, them. Yeah, never You know, them. there was a smart 21st century guy who wanted to get rid of all the altar boys. Okay. So that's why the bells and the, the bells. chalice go together. <laughs> <laughs> Already in the 16th yeah, yeah. century. Yeah. But uh, many of our churches have these highly ornate chalices uh, with bells on them, which of course now are not used except if it's a special mm. celebration. Uh, these have completely fallen into disuse. They move to the plain, simpler forms. Mm. The middle name, again, the, the gold thread work is very evident. I know you said the other one too was also Jesuit. This yes. is Jesuit? This Jesuit, is Jesuit? Jesuit. IHS. IHS. This is from the cathedral. So, IHS is also the, besides being the logo mm. of the Jesuits, IHS is used be all over by everybody yeah. because it's the China of Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, probably more so by the Jesuits. More so by the Jesuits, Jesuits but it's, it's not exclusively Jesuits. Probably you, you convince everyone that this is something that belongs to you. <laughs> so this would actually be worn. I see. And then holding, uh, usually they have pockets inside. Yeah, yeah. Pockets at the corners. Yeah, and then you hold the monstrance, not with your bare hands, but wow. your hands are covered and you hold. Really? Yeah. You don't ever hold the monstrance with your with hands. Bare hands. Almost like a glove kind of thing. Yeah. Makes sense. I remember vaguely seeing something like that. No, you, you see uh, um, this every time you're in church and they have the adoration. Uh, Even now, the pockets? I'm not sure of oh, the see. modern day human veil. They might just take parts out. And no, I, yeah. they do. I've seen the priest using the human yeah. veil. I don't I know see. about the pockets, but he uses parts of the, the veil itself. Oh, I, see. I, see. The I see. Corners, because sometimes they're a little longer, so you mm. use I the see. corners to hold it, yes. So I was telling you, it would be nice to get students to make little films on, you know, how the priest use True. Uh, items. their yeah. items and you know we can run these short films in the yeah. museum to maybe show the relevance of uh, you know yeah. people can't imagine how this was used For I've seen yeah. in a church Contact. but a visitor yeah. True. Uh, True. Wouldn't, yeah. uh, from India especially wouldn't know how these objects mm -hmm. were used and for what they were used like what is a chalice once I had a, 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 a person who came in with a group and he was guiding them around and he said you know, the, the priest pour beer in this film. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wasn't here at that time. And then uh, my colleague who was here said, you know, this is 
this is what they said that they culturally it's hard to explain concepts concept. no which you're not familiar yeah, with yeah so uh, it's 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 a so, it's a very technical so kind of it makes it more relevant if we have these short uh, films zavias have got since zavias yeah, college so has got, got a, to help me bring sure, sure, that sure. Uh, you know No, they've so got amazing that. capacity. They've With got they 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 completed ten years for their uh, mass media, and yeah. uh, the quality has gone up. You know, just a one minute clip on. I'm not saying everything, yeah. but uh, uh, why not? The numeral veil is used, and what it is used for. That channel is where I do. Yeah, we have plenty of ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It didn't exist. So what existed was that wooden floor resting on those columns. I see. And the stairs up there. Up there, yes. And this um, staircase, staircase was made in such a way that we would not cover what existed before. I see. These are the correct me if I'm wrong. Column ossuary for the remains or yeah. the bones of the sister superiors wow. from the cloister. Really? Yes, it is. Um, See if you can get the first two images. Uh, yeah. Uh, there was this Brazilian researcher. She had come and she was doing some work on the sister superiors of the convent, and she was looking for the tomb of the nuns. And she looked all over the church, and then she said, "Can I see the dead remains?" I see. I know they are the ossuary and other of the sister superiors, but I had not gone in in depth to see who they belonged to, what were their names. And she just clicked the picture and zoomed, and she said, "Yes, it is. They're the, the first two of the founder." Sisters of this, of this convent. Wow. Okay. Still remembered five hundred years later. And the wine, since it's completely uh, the silver relief work, you can't see what which one would have water and wine. So you have the alphabet. Really? To oh. to tell you the A and yeah, the B, aqua and B, you know. Really? And then you have the handles, which are the nagas. <laughs> and you imagine the lid opening; it's like the hood of the cobra. Wow. It's a very interesting. Uh, Yeah, Design. So small, These are, of course, examples of altar carvings that were used in the past when the masses were said in Latin and have completely fallen into disuse yeah, now. Yeah. I don't know what churches have done with them. Why? Well, what what were they used for? They were placed on the altar, and they would have some of the readings, I some see. of the key prayers that were needed to be said. And, uh, to help the priests remember. I Now see. Masses are not said in Latin, right. so these have fallen into disuse. So, it was carved in in metal or the, or it was paper. Metal. I see. Usually I see. Metal, I see. But at least the key ones. I see. This is a set of altar cards. The cards are not in paper. I've seen another set um, right now um, with the Goa State Museum. They There's no paper on top of it. It's no, in metal. No, it's all metal. Impermanent. I mean, totally permanent. Totally permanent. Till it's fallen into disuse, and then people are right. not aware of how to keep it or what to do with it. And yeah. Okay. Something like that. The, the Joseph's hand no, has fallen seems, off. Yeah. I need to open and fix yeah. it again. <laughs> Because they are, um, you know, the ivory is. They made the hands. Separately, and then they join them into the. I see. So that's the hand that's 
Yeah, to pull in, back Macau, in. in Macau, we saw, you know, there would be these big trunks with, and I don't know that it was ivory. Yeah, but it was wood, but. It was big trunks full but of body parts. Body that parts, they yeah. Assembled them together, yeah. yeah. So where did the ivory come from? Usually, they say the ivory came from the African, African. Portuguese African colonies, brought here, carved here, and then depending on where there was see. demand, like, so there was a lot of demand for bone ivories in Europe. I see. Shipped there. The smaller ivories were meant for the home, for the family altars. Yeah. And this is um, an image, what we call the Nirmala Mata. She's draped in the sari, standing on the lotus. Oh, wow. But there's also the crescent. And How would you make out if she's Christian or Hindu in that sense? The crescent moon. The crescent moon. And there is the dove of the Holy Spirit. I see. Hmm. Yeah, it, it reminds me of that sort of blending of the mm -hmm. Asiatic Asian. appearance, and, and the, it reminds me a lot of. So this goes back to which year? This is twenty. This is twentieth mm -hmm. century. Twenty twenty. After inculturation and all that. Yeah. So I'm not sure when exactly. Yeah. But this is twentieth century. Before inculturation, would it cause a problem? Would it have caused a problem? For its Indianness, or? See, there are things that were made in the 17th yeah. and 18th century that also hmm. could have caused a problem, like the Nagas on the, yeah. on the handles and things. It's but it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. I would imagine if it had not been acceptable, it would have opened up the path and started a problem. Yeah. But they say that Anshlo from Sekha's um, paintings, they were, they were, they were, there was a group of people who were objecting to that. It took mm. quite some time for acceptance. It's also cultural, no? What yeah. is not acceptable, you find it even a little today, bit alien. Yeah, today, yeah, you know, yeah. We like to see modern Christian art. Yeah. Uh, for people who are used to seeing the same mm. Renaissance type of paintings, yeah. it's very yeah. difficult to accept. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult Christian to accept. Art. I remember those Bibles which came with modern art in the 70s somewhere, mm -hmm. and it was like a, it like took a revolution. Some time yeah, to yeah. accept it. Yeah. We are also going to be having an exhibition in the church on uh, the life of Christ, uh, mostly uh, the Last Supper or something like that, by uh, an artist, Madhuri Farik. And her art is very, we are not used to seeing it, it's yeah. more folk like. Yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, that one. Today, people are much more willing to accept, yeah. you know, from the Pope downwards, yeah. so. Why not? So it's, e it's much easier now. <coughs> <coughs> and that divide between culture and religion is, is it's seen as two different things. Earlier culture and melded with religion and mm -hmm. it was part of one package. The church that I went to growing up was built in the 19, late 60s, early 70s, same time the NASA was. It was for the NASA community. And it was all very modern and not at all. Um, traditional. Just, yeah, not at all traditional. And, and um, guitar mass, you know, with the priest with the long hair playing his guitar. And it was a hippie church. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was never yeah. anything but that. And that's just what I was used to growing up. I thought see. of the Catholic church being very 70s looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it yeah, was the 70s. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. I remember churches with clean lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that was the cutoff point. No, I'm saying 60s, 70s was yeah. when a lot more things became acceptable. So. Yeah. Vatican II. Vatican II. Vatican II. So you have the, the image of Christ with two here. The sun. Yeah. Which one? The central one. All three actually All three. are two here. But the central one looks prominent. Uh, yeah, it's more prominent even in uh, his features. Um, very, very Portuguese. This stuff has nothing to do with <laughs> Indo-Portuguese art. It was offered by the people of Saga Bandera in Africa through a Goan bishop who was posted there for a long time. Altin, Altin. Yeah, Bishop Altin to this And they carved out his mission light wow. on the task and they offered it to him. His family offered it to the museum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Can happen with so many uh, aspects, so not just the right, um, the best men and the chairs and the portraits of the archbishops, but also yeah. things like this. Yeah. Do you know where in Africa it is? Mozambique. 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 Yeah. Or Angola? Mozambique. Hmm? I don't know. Yeah, it's just a bit. St. Anne? St. Anne and the Virgin. Mm-hmm. Teaching and domestic values. Yeah. to read from the scripture. I see. The clothes are interesting, no? Yeah. yeah. So this is European? Probably. Possibly. <coughs> Possibly yes, yes. The, the book looks anachronistic to me. And they wouldn't have books in that that look like that back then. Mm-hmm. Well, in the clothing. Mm-hmm. What's the date on the no, well, I'm not. 1819. Yeah, well, the depiction of Sadie and the yeah. Virgin, they didn't have, that was, no. obviously they wouldn't no. have had books that looked like that. True. It's their understanding. This is? That uh, is St. John of Nepomuk. For a long time we did not know who the saint was. Wow. He had left it as unidentified. My goodness. But uh, we had uh, some reports from Poland. Who knew? Who knew? Okay. And they, they, they sent me images wow. that were identical. And it was yeah. so good. And then we had Possible Norana who also identified it. So you have visitors from all over the world? Yes. How many countries? As many as there are. <laughs> yeah, we get people from all over Europe. We get people from China and Japan. Korea, uh, I'm not too sure. But uh, from all over. From all over. It's the the museum's well covered in these travel guides. Yeah. So it's on the like travel it, agenda. It is, it is. Not of Goa. True. But in the International planet and True. The other travel True. guides it is covered. So this was the access for the nuns from the to come onto the first floor. Okay. Wow. And this is part of the arch of what must have been the door. The door that would yeah. have led to the ground floor. Uh, no, no, no. Entry is from that side. There's quite a story there too. Yeah? yeah what, yeah. What's the story? Um, actually, when we started the restoration work, I mean, it took us a long time, uh, but the key things were, we took off the cement plaster. What we found uh, was the flooring was a red cement flooring, which was very badly damaged, so we had to strip it off mm. and think of what we would put as tiles. As they started stripping off the red cement flooring, we found the original. Really? Near perfect stone flooring, except ah. the last three pockets here wow. in the back, which were, it was complete, there was nothing found, and we had to replace it with a similar stone to what it was. But the first part of the church is all the old, not mm-hmm. the part near, near the altar was always original, but then this was covered with cement, and wow. when we started to remove it is when we found it. You never know what you get when you dig. And in the pulpit as well, but that's, I think I'll have to take you there to show you. I see. Uh, I don't know how many people have, you know, my generation, I've never seen a portable altar being used. Mm. Uh, these were the liturgical objects that would be used. It would fit in there. The Bible stand, prayer cards in Latin, candlesticks which come off and it all goes wow. into a nice briefcase. Briefcase or that's why it's called a mobile altar. Yeah. And it would be used in the mission areas. <laughs> yeah, we have heard but not uh, it's not commonly seen. Example of a of a rosary. It's a 15 decade rosary. And, uh, wow, that's a long one. That's a long one. Yes, <laughs> it's a long one. And uh, you know, now we use just a five decade rosary. Mm. And in Goa, we call it Tirch. 
Why do we call it tiers? Tiers refers to three or something? Yeah, one third. One third. Yeah. Okay. It's so one third of the, the of full. The, of the full yeah. ruzar. I see. Ruzar. Tiers korungai. Tiers korungai. So tiers is five decades. I see. Down to yeah. one decade. Now that I hear that, I. Even in Portuguese, you say tiers. Yeah, and but now that I think about it in the going con, hear it in the going context, think about the book I just translated. And we're still gonna eat it. I think they, at some point they wake up at midnight and, and bring the tips. And I translated it as the, like a third of the rosary, but it would have made more sense just to say the short rosary. Yeah. Yeah. No, just That's a rosary. Just a, a, it's it a is, standard now. It's it a is, standard. Now everybody says rosary, yeah. but what actually was a rosary was to say all the 15, then 15 decades, now it's 20, but 15 decades. Yeah. And that is the. Uh, Jesus, yeah. the of the world. Uh, I see. The, it's made in silver. I see. And in the gladded with clothes. Yeah. It is always that way. <coughs> this is a, a little reliquary chip which at one time had the, a piece of St. Francis Xavier's head to me. If you look behind, you will find the, the text that says, Sobretelis has the fish of here. Meaning? Uh, Sobretelis is the, telis is skin, right? Yeah. So what would come on Sobretelis? Wow. So the vestiment, this is called okay. Sobretelis, uh, this comes on fish of here. So it one, at one time it did have, but now it doesn't. But the silver um, reliquary so intricately uh, carved with the reli uh, images of in Francis Xavier's miracles. But the back is what's interesting, you must see the back. Very yeah, nice. I very see. Very An example of the crab and the cross shows the life of Francis Xavier. The story of the crab and the cross. Yes. You should get Anita to one day read her story of the crab and the cross here. And it up into nice because you have sure, the objects sure, here sure, and sure. you have the story and uh, have a little story reading session. Yeah. And you have uh, sorry, sorry, the infant Jesus. Yeah. The, what we were talking we were about. Talking about the baby Jesus, which would which was meant to go into a nativity crib, usually given by the mother to her daughter in the hope that she would have yeah a, a boy child, child a boy, boy child. Okay. But the, the, the goldsmiths got so carried away, they would even make little beds uh, for the baby Jesus. Gold gold waist chains? Waist beds, uh, bracelets, so anklets, and the, and the bed. And that they made because they, they compared it with Krishna. You know, Krishna, uh -huh. the birth of Krishna is also celebrated by putting him in. I see. In a bed? Yes. In a back bedroom? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just a... What's that? There was something, her mother had something similar to this. I never knew, I quite knew the significance of it, but, but they give it out as a I think it was my grandmother's and mm -hmm. my mother's, but yeah. Wow. So in my family, it came from my uh, grandmother to my mom and to my wife. It actually comes down. Yeah. Here. Even I've got mine. I see. From your <laughs> paternal. Yeah. From my uh, maternal, maternal side. side. Maternal okay. side. Yeah. And uh, none of my older sisters got. I see. Because of course, ivory's not used yeah. anymore but I got the, the one from the family but now we've started making for the museum in marble powder really so like replicas of this I see so we don't know, we've run out of them we have to make more and who makes them for you powder, who? Uh, a local uh, uh, company they are marble called, powder is quite inexpensive so yeah Kadamba Arts and Crafts they, they call themselves so they make these little statues for the cars but yeah. they also make these for us and it's so similar to ivory yeah, in yeah. color. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't know. That's the good shepherd. This is the good shepherd. Yeah. Carved out of one piece of ivory. Wow. And I'm saying we are in the new project, the display will improve tremendously. You know, now yeah, if everything is mixed, ivories are mixed with paintings, sculptures, yeah. you'll have ivories. And also you'll get a better view of the object. And is it already funded, or are you having a no, capital uh, campaign? No, we, we've asked for funding from the Ministry of Culture, and it's coming through, but just that we need to give them some NOCs from the local government. Okay. Is there some relic? Is there some relic in here? 
it is said that it's, it's a thorn from the crown of Christ, mm. brought by the Jesuit missionaries, and they asked the locals to make the reliquary, uh, the, the reliquary monster. Mm. The seal of the Jesuits is right there. The IHS. Where? I see. The red, the red IHS seal. The I red see, seal I see, I see. IHS. It's a seal. It is a seal. If you zoom in. Uh, yeah, you kind of guaranteeing the... Yeah. Over publicize yeah, yeah, this because yeah. there are people who say, "Oh, prove it." No, no, yeah. no, like, you know, yeah. it's a matter of faith, yeah. Yeah. In, especially in case of relics. You True. know, it's a matter of faith, yeah. and uh, and that's a reliquary cross with a piece of wood which is said to have been put on the cross. Oh, I think, yeah, that's And then that that again is a very unique relief image of the Holy Trinity. Yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Father, Son and Holy Spirit is where? The bird. Bird, the dove. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, the angels who are holding the symbols of the Passion of Christ. Very interesting. Yeah, this is the Asad style mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. I'll open it for you. I see. So it's like a... Please. Very small. We say do not touch in this case because sometimes people don't want to go and sit in. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> so were people smaller in those days? I think they were. You see St. Francis Xavier? <laughs> yeah, he's he's small. Yeah, yeah, he's you see, you well. shrink with time. You shrink. Yeah, he's, he's shrink. No, he's but shrunk besides over that also, uh, usually uh, people in this area of the subcontinent were smaller. Yeah. Even the Portuguese. Yeah. You go yeah, to Europe, the castle doors are tiny, no? Yeah. And the, and the suits of armor that they have on display, I mean, they're this tall. Yeah. yeah. I think they were, yeah. they were small. They were small people. I don't know about Northern Europe and the Americas, but uh, generally the southern part of Europe, people yeah. were, were smaller. Yeah. I've heard that the, the average Roman soldier was about five foot two. I don't know how true really? that is. Mm. That's, that's possible, that's, no? That's the number bandied about. But that's but right. There's the... Mashila, we saw one at, uh, at the museum, and it was similar. Right, and, and it's tiny. It mm -hmm. looks like it would fit modern children. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine <laughs> <laughs> people yeah. sitting in it. Yeah. So then we have again images like this, smaller images of saints that would fill up your family also. Saint Sebastian, Saint Michael, Saint Anthony, Saint Francis, you know, all these popular saints that go out. Hmm. So I'm immensely popular. In immensely this. popular, yeah. Saint Anthony, Saint Francis Xavier. For lost things, lost For items. Lost things. Stories have been written about Saint Anthony's ability to find lost things. Yeah. And to find a bride too. To find a bride? Yeah. People uh, in Portugal on the day before this feast, they have like this mass wedding. Hundred, <laughs> hundred couples getting married yeah. together. I see. And then the wedding spur of more weddings because you see each other there and you decide. <laughs> 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 so, Saint Rock. Yeah. Saint Rock in times of plague and yeah. um, very common in this area. Old Goa was, you know, always yeah. unsanitary. Yeah. <laughs> you would know. <laughs> and uh, because of the plagues, he was invoked a lot. It hadn't occurred to me that the. Catholicism with all of its priests is probably particularly appealing to a polytheistic society that's used to having, mm. now I could be totally wrong in that, but just the idea of having multiple multiple gods, gods. Mm -hmm. it translates better to the idea, uh, understanding True. what saints, True. and the veneration of saints is particularly Catholic, it's not something you see a lot in, yeah. you know, the, in Protestant yeah. churches. Yeah. And, yeah. and then, in, in fact, in some churches, like uh, the gods would Res, uh, replicate the earlier ones. So, for example, if there was a lady deity, mm. you know, Saint Anne or something yes. like that. So, there was some correspondence. It was yeah. well thought out plan. It wasn't yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was wondering that. That makes sense. And it, it worked out so well in, in, in our case because it was so easy. I think it was easier, not so easy, but easier for them to assimilate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's still that belief that Saibin, my Our Lady, is uh, one of the seven sisters of some Hindu 